So oh, hi, hello and welcome, Micro Hunter here. These are, I think, one of the most beautiful crystals that I ever made using uh, my microscope. And these are crystals that form in soy sauce. Uh, and uh, it's uh, quite easy to make uh, as well, because all you have to do is you have to put a little bit of soy sauce uh, on a microscope slide and then wait for, for a few minutes. And uh, already after about five minutes or so, I could see that these uh, crystals started to appear. And I think uh, they look look very, very pretty, <laughs> very artistic. Well, uh, why do these crystals form? Well, uh, one of the main ingredients in soy sauce is salt. Um, and uh, when the water um, evaporates, uh, then the solution starts to become sour saturated and uh, when more water evaporates then the salt uh, is not dissolved anymore but will start to deposit and form those crystals and those crystals can now be uh, observed uh, under the microscope as a matter of fact you're also able to see them um, without a microscope if you just look at the slide uh, then it's possible to see the crystals and and they're fairly large uh, so you do not even need a large magnification but i do recommend that you get yourself uh, some polarization filters you place them um, under the microscope slide and also um, over the slide and then you will uh, get beautiful colors. Um, I've made several videos on how to do that. Uh, so if you're interested, um, yeah, you can find a whole bunch of tutorials that show you how to do that. Well, uh, why do now the crystals, the salt crystals look so different than when you put a, um, yeah, a pure salt solution on the microscope slide? Well, the salt crystals um, essentially form uh, not uh, in distilled water, um, so of course soy sauce is a complex uh, um, complex uh, so, uh, sol uh, solution and contains also amino acids and al also other ingredients. After all, it's a natural product. And it is those impurities uh, that actually uh, can contribute now to a different way of crystallization. And I think that this might be one of the reasons why the crystals uh, look different depending on which environment uh, they are in. Well, in any case, uh, I do hope uh, that videos like this uh, also motivate you to try out a little bit of experimentation and to put some things under the microscope. Uh, for today, I would like to wish you all the best. I uh, wish you a happy micro hunting. As always, see you around next time. Bye-bye.